Hello children, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. Once again, welcome to my class. And how are you? And how is study going on in other subjects? Okay, well doing. So today, we are going to take a new chapter and a new book. Okay, as you all know, we are having Vistas as our supplementary reader. So from this book, Supplementary Reader, Vistas, we will be doing chapter number one, the third level. Okay? As in last videos, we have gone through Flamingo book, two poetries of Flamingo, one and two, and the two prose part of Flam uh, that is one and two, we have already done. And the late last video, or la latest video was of an elementary school classroom in slum. After that, we are going to shift and divert our focus directly towards our supplementary reader, Vistas, and the chapter number one is the third level. The third level is written by Jack Finney, and Jack Finney is an American author. To today, I am not going to disclose you the theme of this particular chapter. That is why, because it is a science fiction. Jack Finney is famous for writing science fiction. He is an American author and is famous for writing science fiction. So today we are going to deal chapter number one, Vistas, the third level by Jack Finney. Before moving ahead in any of the things like themes, another thing, theme, I am not going to disclose because you are not going to get the theme at the very starting of this chapter. But first and very foremost thing which I am going to actually tell you is about the character. The number one character is Charlie, who is our protagonist, who is the lead hero of our today's story. Number two is Louisa, who is Charlie's wife. And number three is Sam, who is a psychiatrist. Okay, dear children, before we go ahead like on and on, kindly just do remember to take your pen and your paper along with you, your notebook, so that you can note some of the important details related to the topic. At the end of the chapter, I'm going to give you some home assignment also. So, you are now going to note down the main characters in the story are Charlie, who is the protagonist of our story, The Third Level. Louisa, Charlie's wife, and Sam, the psychiatrist. Who is the psychiatrist? Do you can, can you, anybody can recall? Definitely a doctor who is trained to treat, to, sorry, to treat the people who are suffering from men, uh, mental illness. Okay? So a psychiatrist is a person who is actually treating the people who are suffering from mental illness. So our protagonist is Charlie and his wife Louisa and Charlie is a protagonist and the second character Louisa, Charlie's wife and Sam, psychiatrist. Now, I'm not going to again go ahead as I don't know how many of you are having book in your hand. So, line by line reading will not be possible. Still, we are going into a detailed explanation of the chapter. Okay, my dear students, before I moving ahead, we will again, I would just like to tell you as you will read the chapter, it has something different. But what is this chapter all about? This chapter is a science fiction. As this chapter has is not having any, uh, any number of people, only three persons you need to remember. Charlie, his wife Louisa and his psychiatrist friend Sam. Okay? As well as the entire scenario, entire episode is actually revolving around a one place which is known as Grand Central Station. You got my point? The entire chapter is all about a place called as Grand Central Station. Okay? And this Grand Central Station is having two levels. First level and second level. 
In the story of a protagonist, our narrator is going to tell us that the first level is where all the 20th century rail, uh, you will find the railway trains over there. And from in the second level, you are going to find that the trains who are going to the suburban areas actually move out from there. So this total chapter is revolving around a place called as Grand Central Station, which is having two levels, number one first level, number two second level. And the story is somewhere around 1950s or 1958. Okay, the story is somewhere around the scenario 1950s to 1958. Fine, you got my point? So this short story revolved this grand around the, this place called as Grand Central Station with two levels. But the twist and turn in the story is that our protagonist Charlie experiences a third level in this Grand Central Station. Got my point? Originally in this Grand Central Station from where the train moves or it is a place from where you can get a pick you can uh, actually start your journey to other places various types of uh, trains for various places you can just go on as having two level but our charlie the protagonist experiences a third level and that's all about the story so in this chapter he starts a story or rather a chapter starts in a way where Charlie says or the our protagonist says that even the presidents of New York or the New Haven and the Hartford Rail Railways can swear that there are only two levels. Why he is telling the name of presidents is just to give you the exact proof that in the present modern day world this grand central station is having only two levels but when our Charlie experiences the third level he was very confused he was in dilemma and he met his psychiatrist Sam who he met his psychiatrist Sam and he told everything all about his experience that he went into this third level of Grand Central Station where nobody went and hearing all this, his wife, Louisa, went mad. Oh my God, my what has happened to my husband? Listening all about or going through all the experiences, hearing all about what Charlie's description about this third level, which nobody knows or which rather does not exist in this present world, the psychiatrist say to Charlie, my dear friend, don't be worried. Don't take any worry. Actually, it is a waking dream. It is a waking dream or, or a wish fulfillment. Charlie was more confused. Why he is telling my real, real experience of waking dream or a wish fulfillment? Then Sam, Sam explained Charlie. My dear friend, it is nothing like third level is there. There is nothing like third level, he says. Why is saying like that? Sam tells the reason. Sam, Sam to, tells to Charlie, you can note down. Number one. Okay, now Sam as a doctor has a perfect explanation of Charlie's discovery of the third level because Charlie went into the third level which never exists in this grand central station and he's starting the chapter that I swear even the president can swear that there are only two levels but I actually experienced the third level and he was in total dilemma and confusion that's why that he has whether gone mad or really he has experienced it real he approaches his psychiatrist friend Sam and Sam, Sam explains sorry explains him what he explains him that my dear friend Charlie as the present day world is full of 
insecurity, full of fear, full of war, full of worry or rather we are in a very very stressful condition. You cannot doubt the present day world for an individual is full of insecurity, full of fear, full of war means everywhere some or the other the war is going all around and worry. That's why each and every individual wants to go, get, go to a place which is very peaceful, which is very calm, which is very quiet. Nobody wants to live in a world like insecurity, full of war, full of worries. Not you, not me. Exactly. So the psychiatrist, the doctor explains, Charlie, Charlie, no need to worry. Actually, it happens to all. We never, we actually want to escape from our stressful life. We actually want to escape from our stressful condition. And that's why we have our own imaginative world. And everybody wants to be in that world, imaginative world, which is peaceful, which is, full of, uh, which is free of worries, free of war, free of insecurity, free of fear. So, it is nothing special has happened to you. You were just transported to your imaginative world. And nothing like third level actually exists. You were never there in the third level of the Grand Central Station. You were actually in your imaginative world. It's absolutely fine. Charlie, Dr. Explain, Dr. Sam explained to Charlie. Because everybody is like that. We never want to be in such a stressful state. And that's why we want to escape the present day's worries, present day fear, anxiety, and we actually uh, transport ourselves into a, some, our dream own, our own dreamland. And same has happened with you. There is nothing like third level. And doctor also gave an example to Charlie. By Charlie, you also do star collecting. In this chapter, there is enough proof for Charlie himself tell that he is a stamp collector. Now listen very carefully. The stamp collection has a main thing or very it's a very important thing you should focus because the stamp collection is going to bring the twist and turn in the story. Got my point? The stamp collection is going to bring the twist and turn in the story. So, doctor further explains, Charlie, as you do stamp collecting, as you want to escape from your stressful condition and want to relax in some other activity. It is like same. It is not, like nothing else than that. But Charlie was not satisfied with his doctor's answer. Charlie was not satisfied with what Sam actually gave an explanation. Even the friends and wife were satisfied. Charlie said to Sam, my dear friend, but my grandfather, who also was a stamp collector like me, who actually activated me or rather he only initiated this habit of stamp collecting in my life, he never wanted to be in a, he, his life was never a mess, his life was never full of these things, he was, he was leading a very peaceful life my dear friend. So you cannot give an explanation like that to me. Okay? He told very straightforwardly. And the chapter is written like, like President is also like Roosevelt also uh, collects the stamp, do you know? So it's not like that. Means Charlie was not satisfied with the doctor's answer or rather the explanation. Here, very one important point to be noted, Charlie is not a man. The very important thing is, why? Because when he experienced something very different, he approached a doctor. He approached a psychiatrist. And psychiatrist gave him a proper, what? Conclusion about this thing. Then in the next part of the chapter, when where he comes, there is the brief or rather detailed explanation or rather description by Charlie, how he discovered that third level you know now in the, this part of the chapter Charlie is describing the readers that how he actually discovered the third level when he did it was last summer when it was 
it was last summer he say and what happened over there in the last summer one of the night he worked late night in the office he worked late night in the office and after getting late after just realizing that he has worked so late he just wants hurry towards his home and he want to go back to his home as fast as he could so he actually took a decision that i am going to take a subway rather than taking a bus towards my apartment because subway was more easy or faster than the bus to reach the home because he was already late what is a subway subway is a tunnel over a or sorry under a busy a bus route or a train route where pedestrian can pass or sometimes like in calcutta we have built the metro rail like that a subway is also it's underground tunnel so he thought that i can go through the subway so what happened in the subway before he describes the event subway he is telling the readers the protagonist of the story is telling he is a very normal human being charlie is describing himself actually before describing the event how he actually discovered the third level so he is describing that he is number 1 you can note down he is a 31 year a normal office going personality 31 year old office going personality second he was wearing a tan gabardine suit okay a straw hat a fancy band means his dress was like the modern people of those days used to wear or those days people used to wear okay and he was approaching he actually took the subway and he is describing that for him that subway is something a very great area hundred of times he was in and out in this subway and it is not the first time when he experienced this third level which does not literally or really exist that was not his first experience of some other world one time when he entered in the subway what happened from the way he entered and he actually landed into a lobby of roosevelt hotel the other time when he went Uh, when he entered the subway the other corner or the other exit of the subway was a office building he is very clearly explaining the readers one time i i entered the subway i actually when while exiting i went into the lobby of an roosevelt hotel one time what happened uh once upon a time another time what happened that he entered the subway while going home he actually uh, on the exit he was in an office building which was at 46th street so likewise the third level was the not the first time he experienced something different so he is telling like that so he for him this third level is this grand sorry this grand central station for him is like a growing tree our uh, charlie who is our protagonist is actually comparing this grand central station like a growing tree okay where his branches are grown like this tree mein branches grow hoti hai to according to charlie this grand station this grand central station in this subway route hidden passages or hidden corridor staircases are like that that it eventually leads to leads you to somewhere else so it's like that that's it he assumes that it's like a growing tree sometimes a corridor the new uh, staircases are, uh, actually appears though this thing or oh, as a, he compares him this uh, as a growing tree he hide from his psychiatrist 
he also believed there are certain hidden tunnels in this grand central station somewhere leading to central park or times square so he was really confused in dilemma and but this thing he just hide it from his psychiatrist that it is like a growing tree so he says he actually tells you on that day what happened he actually took a survey he entered the survey he actually went into the he went downstairs he went into the first level and in the first level all the trains of the modern day time were there then again from the stairs down he went there was the second level and all the trains for sub urban areas were about to leave from this place okay so he was walking in the second level and somewhere near the arch door what happened he got lost in one of the corridors and walking after a few steps he finds he, he just he realized that he is on the wrong way but he kept on walking and there was so so much silence it was only his footstep he was able to hear and he can very sooner assume that he is on the long wrong way but after walking few steps what he found he found that he was able to hear what hollow roar means from a distant place people voices were coming so he kept walking in that direction so he came across that particular direction he reached and the people were there so he thought he again reached to the second level because he was in the second level you understand from the subway he went through the stairs down to the first level where all the all trains were there all trains then again from the stair downwards he went second level there from the, the trains who were approaching towards the sub urban areas they were there and in this second particularly level in the second level from the arch doorway he lost somewhere the route in the corridor and very sooner or later he realized because there was no sir that he was on the wrong way but he kept on walking maybe he can approach the other end of the subway so after walking few distances our charlie what he saw you know he heard something that people are there so he approached and he went he that particular area he reached and he said oh my god i just went around about and i went, came to the second level only i didn't exited from the subway he took the subway to reach or cross that area fast so he just went over there and very sooner or later our charlie had few observations you can note these things very importantly if you are having the book you can note it down the number one difference the number one observation of charlie was in on this level the rooms were smaller you can note it down the number one observation was rooms were smaller number two observation he did were few ticket windows and train gates okay few ticket windows and train gate then information booth i will be telling you regarding it just you can note down fourth number on the floor brass spittoons then dressing style number 6 is 
locomotive and number seven is oil lamps see somewhere lost in that second level corridor all the empty area crossing that empty area people were there a new place he has never been over there and what was his observation his observation was number one rooms were smaller second there were few ticket counters okay and train gates number third information booth which was at the center was made up of wood and was of all styling okay number four on the floor brass spittoons were kept in which you can spit actually or okay so that was of also of all style number next fifth the men and women were wearing retro style dresses means that dresses that type of dress charlie was not wearing that type of dress charlie was not wearing and all the people over there were wearing somewhat 50 60 years back dressing style they were having like retro style dresses type okay next is he had a look on locomotives mean on the trains on the engines and that was also of all style and there were flickering oil gas lamps or rather flickering lamps were there these many changes were there so after observing this five to six thing our charlie make it out or realize that he was in the third level because first and second level was not like this and to make the surety what he did you know the biggest thing in the scene is newspaper now charlie immediately went to the newspaper boy and he took a newspaper and the newspaper name was the world okay the newspaper immediately after looking at the newspaper after looking the title as we all know the title or the name of the newspaper is on the heading of is at the top like the times of india the danik bhaskar the navbharat times the hindu whatever is there likewise the world and charlie immediately recognized the world's publishing has been stopped way back and dated was 11th june 1894 whereas charlie was I, in the beginning of you i told you this story is an era from 1950s or 1958 that, that time 1950s you can see and the 11th june 1894 was the date on the newspaper so you can see that he is in the past time but my point he has actually traveled into a past that is the biggest proof he took a newspaper from a newspaper boy he had a glanced over there even the lead the, the topic or the heading story were about the president cleveland you know cleveland was the president at that time of usa not at that time when charlie was there in the real world so this was the biggest biggest proof that charlie has been transported to the past world it has been very little it is open flame sorry gas lines and he took a newspaper and it's written i found the fred french page since in the public library files and it was printed june 11 1894 and just after looking at the newspaper confirmation of date Charlie was so fascinated of this world of 1894 he want to travel in this world okay and he does not want to go into the present world but he does not want to go alone also somewhere he want to take his wife and go to somewhere place very peaceful 
So he went to the ticket counter. It's written in your book. It's written, I could buy tickets that would take Louisa and me anywhere in United States. We wanted to go in the year 1894. I wanted two tickets from for Galesburg, Illinois. Okay, Illinois. And where, what is this Galesburg? Charlie immediately after confirmation that he is in the past era, he has actually left behind. He want to get back his wife, Louisa, and he want to take the ticket from the third level and want to travel anywhere in the United States of America. And where he want to go, you know, he clearly says he wants to travel to Gelsberg. This is the place where actually Charlie's grandfather lived. Okay? Charlie's grandfather used to live over there. So actually Charlie found this uh, town, Galesburg, as a very fascinating place. Or rather a very, very peaceful place. Charlie actually think that he is really of, um, leading a miserable life in this present state. So he want to leave everything and want to travel to this Galesburg along with his wife. So he went to the ticket counter and he took out the money and handed over to the club. And you know, on the ticket counter, something very bad happened with Charlie. What happened? The clerk got furious. He got furious. He threatened Charlie. Are you fooling me? Are you fooling me? I will just check you out. Means that was a past. It was that was a time of 1894. And Charlie was having the currency of present day world. So Charlie realized that his currency is inappropriate. So he immediately left from there. He immediately left from there in a thought that I'm going to change my currency and then I will again come back with, along with Louisa and we will travel to Galesburg. So Charlie left the third level. And all this description he told to his psychiatrist friend Sam. Okay. Next day what happened? Charlie went to the bank, got his $300 exchanged into an old currency. But miserable thing was he was not able to find the third level. He went to the same route which he went yesterday. That first level then underwent even the second level, that same corridor. He was not able to find any place like third level. No same people, no ticket counter, no same clerk. Where the world has gone? So this entire story, he explained to Sam and Sam actually gave him the description what I told you in the very starting that actually people are so anxiety, full of fear, full of insecurity, full of war and they don't want to live in this war life where all the time this one is aging war against other and a lot of worries so everybody wants to escape from this world and that's why actually most of the individual are transported to an imaginative world but that time Charlie was very very disappointed because he was not satisfied but after experiencing he told to Sam, Sam gave this explanation and when after second time when Charlie was not able to found, find this third level he was really his wife seeing his condition his wife was like what you have gone you have you gone mad now stop searching for any third level there is no third level like this his wife Louisa explained him because after exchanging his $300 and getting, um, uh, he want to go and get the ticket for Louis and him and want to go to Galesburg, he didn't find the place. So he went in a very pathetic and depression state and then ultimately his wife told them, stop thinking of that third level. Okay. And there is a big twist and turn in the story. What happened? 
in this due course of time, his psychiatric friend, psychiatrist friend, Sam, what happened to Sam? Sam disappeared. There was no, there was no news of Sam there, Sam is there. And just, he was so tired of who of our protagonist, Charlie, he wanted to shift his mind now. He wanted to shift his mind from all the other activities because he was very, very confused. He experienced the third level. The doctor gave, Sam gave a perfect solution. Second time when he wanted to search the third level, he didn't find it out. It means the doctor was true. Doctor was not there. He was also disappeared. Where he went, I don't know. As Charlie was a stamp collector, he started focusing in on his stamp collection. Okay? He started once again focusing in his stamp collection. And one day, what happened? After going through his numerous stamp collection, or rather the first day cover, there is one word called as first day cover. You should know what is the first day cover because questions come like this also. And that is also related very strongly to this chapter. What is first day cover? Usually, in America, when this all those people who are these stamp collectors, who are having a habit or a hobby of stamp collecting, whenever, whenever a new stamp is issued, what they do, they actually buy some for them. They go to the post office, buy the stamp from there or particular place. Then they paste it on the envelope, okay? And then they actually put a plain or a plain paper inside the envelope because they will post into whose address? Their own, own address. Why they do like that? I tell you, the stamp collectors on the very first day when the new stamp is issued, they buy it and they actually paste it on an envelope and envelope cannot go empty so for that reason just to be fill it they place an empty what paper inside the envelope and the address is themselves only means they post it on their own address why the stamp collectors used to do it they do it as the postmark on the stamp actually is the proof of the date understood the postmark on the stamp is actually the proof of the date. You people have not actually experienced this as you are not living in that era of uh, where we people used to write the letters uh, on in a piece of paper and then if it is not a postal in a letter then we have to actually for posting that particular envelope we require a stamp and then it will go through the postal area and all like that. So this particular envelope is called as the first day cover which a person buy for himself post it on his own address and on the stem the postmark is the proof of that particular day so his eyes stop Charlie was just going through his stamp collection his eyes stop on one of the first day cover and you know that was addressed to his grandfather an address was the date was the address was of his grandfather of Galesburg and which was not supposed to be of Charlie because actually Charlie used to collect stamps so it cannot be of his grandfather's age and the address was of his grandfather date was 18th July 1894 the previous one the day which on which Charlie discovers the third level was 11th June very good it was 11th June 1894 this was the day why how you can confirm because from the newspaper boy he took up the newspaper the word and the date was 11 June. 
So this tank cover, the first day cover was having the date of 18 July. When he opened it, when he opened the envelope, obviously they used to do like that. Everybody was doing like that. They used to place that empty what white paper inside and they never used to open it. He just opened it. The paper was not empty. You know, the paper was not empty and the there was a letter inside it. And the letter dated 18 July 1894. And in that letter, you know, he was, after opening the, that letter, who was surprised? Charlie was so surprised. I again repeat that when Charlie went to the bank, changed the currency into old one and was not able to find the third level, he actually shifted his mind towards the stamp collection. In that stamp collection, he was just going round. He came across one of the first day covered, dated 11 June 1894. He opened the envelope. Inside that, the page was not empty. Something was written and the letter was written by Sam. That was a, some, something shocking. And in that letter, Sam was stating, Charlie, my dear friend, Keep on searching for this third level because I, I have able to find it. I actually found out the third level and I'm really very happy. So you and Louisa don't actually leave your or give up your hope because the third level worth it. You are really worth to find it. And he was in amazement. The psychiatrist doctor who himself denied that there can be something like third level, that psychiatrist has gone to the third level and from there is writing a letter to Sam, uh, Charlie, that it is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. Because in the middle of the chapter, when you will read it thoroughly, it has been mentioned that Gales World is a very beautiful place, beautiful warmth place. And men used to uh, actually sit uh, outside in the yards, actually smoking cigar, women waving the palm leaves and everything was peaceful in the Gales World. So our Charlie was so shocked after opening that first day cover and getting that letter which was written by Sam. And Sam was stating, my dear Charlie, do not give it up. Just go through, you will find the third level, same as I found it and it's really worth it. Oh my God, he was shocked. And after that, Charlie visited that same store which actually it was uh, visited by uh, Sam also and it is uh, in the end of the letter that the same Sam and coin store both visited who Charlie and Sam from there he got the information about Sam Charlie got the information that few days back Sam actually got $800 dollars is the present day currency $800 converted into an old currency and that storekeeper told he bought some grains, he bought some feed, he bought some hay. It means these things are required for somebody who wants to start a farm for animals or a farmhouse along with few cattle. So the storekeeper also informed apart from you know converting the $800 into old currency, he purchased all these things. Sam and uh, Charlie understood that the third level really exists. And Sam has been transported to the third level. And he is very happy over there because he always used to tell Charlie that he wants to do something like this in the farmhouse. And the chapter ends here on the note, Charlie say, stating that Sam does not want to return into his present day profession of being a psychiatrist. He is really pretty, ha very happy in Galesburg with his farm animals, with his hays, with his feeds and with his all the grains over there.
Now, my dear students, the chapter ends over there. Big round of questions for you. Madam, how this happened? We will come to the theme of the chapter. And the theme of the chapter, my dear students, is actually number one. You can note it down. This chapter speaks about time and space. Number one theme is, this chapter speaks about time and space. Second thing, this chapter deals with past and present with enough proof. This chapter deals with past and present with enough proofs. And this chapter also reflects on the real and imaginative world. So the theme of the chapter is that within in a particular time a person can travel to a different lot many places like in the present time who traveled Charlie traveled to the or discovered the third level he was in 1958 he traveled to 1894 almost the first and second world war about to begin after 20 and 40 years so this chapter is about time and space the second thing this chapter is about past and present time also and with enough logical and proof like Charlie when went to buy the ticket he was not a mad person while describing the third level because that the evidence shows he want to buy the ticket for himself and his wife Louisa means there was enough evidence of the present his currency his dollar was the proof that he was in the present life but the clerk which actually threatened Charlie you are fooling me and told and he just remember oh my god this is not the currency or appropriate currency that is the biggest proof the another biggest proof is the date of the newspaper which Charlie actually found over there in the third level so this chapter is also dealing with past and present at the same uh, we can call at the same platform this chapter is also dealing with the real and imaginative world in the real world Sam never believed Charlie that third level in the Grand Central Station exists he gave him beautiful explanation and all the friends of Charlie even the wife of Charlie was satisfied with the answer and just Charlie himself was not satisfied he gave that to escape our present day condition, to present worries, present day insecurities, fear, panic state. We actually all want to have a beautiful, peaceful world and we actually dream and imagine of that world. And that's why all, most of the individual get transported into the imaginative world. And that was the reality. But in the end of the chapter, what we find? A letter by Sam himself from 1894 from Galesburg stating to Charlie, Charlie and Louisa, don't stop or don't give up. Keep on trying for third level. It's worth it. It's also dealing with the imaginative world. So my dear children, you can note down the time and space. The first thing, past and present, real and imaginative world. I hope once you give a reading to the lesson, it will be not so difficult for you okay just give always reading to the lesson reading is much more important as it is in online classes as we used to de uh, read in our original or real classrooms it's not possible my dear student but still I will always advise you to go for a reading before I just close my this class I would just like to give you some home assignment write down few questions very easy i explained you very well the very first question is why did note it down why did charlie meet a psychiatrist why did charlie 
meet a psychiatrist? The answer is very simple that Charlie was in a dilemma and confusion that he was in the third level and about this condition he actually confronted with his psychiatrist. Okay, so the first question is why did Charlie meet a psychiatrist? The second question is how did Charlie compare Grand Central to a huge tree? How did Charlie compare Grand Central to a huge tree? Because we find that Grand Central is like a growing tree because every time a new staircases, new corridors, I even think that eventually a tunnel is full of something new. So from there you can get dance. Okay. Third, what is a first day cover? What is a first day cover? I told you very nicely that how on the first day the people who used to collect the stamp actually buy the stamp, put an empty, uh, we can call page in it and that post them on their address only so that that postmark is a proof of the date on which that stamp was there. Okay. So, what is a first day cover? Fourth question, why did Charlie rush back from the third level? Why did Charlie rush back? Because he was having an inappropriate currency, so he rushed back from the third level. Okay, why did Charlie rush back from the third level? And the fifth question, how did Charlie make sure? How did Charlie make sure? that he eventually traveled in the past. How did Charlie make sure that eventually he traveled in the past? He was having lot many evidences. I, I told you very clearly. Okay. So just go through it once more. If you're having work, very nice. Give a reading. And I hope that you are all doing very well. Stay at home. For now, from my side, it's bye-bye.